Good morning. We're so happy you're here. <laughs> we daily vlog, so if you like this video, come back tomorrow. We've been playing ghosties all morning. Ooh. Ooh. And James has been, <laughs> has been introduced to static electricity. What's going on with your hair? Oh, oh, what's going on with your hair? <laughs> Tuesday. It is so sunny outside, but do not be fooled. It is like five degrees out. It is so, so cold today. Um, I'm feeling a little unmotivated today. I don't know what it is. I know we had like a really good week last week, like getting back to the routine. Um, we fell off a little bit over the weekend, but like, I don't know. I just know like last week I felt so good. So I'm trying to just like remember that to get back into the swing of things. Actually, I'm gonna stretch and maybe that'll that'll be, that'll probably help. Um, we were up a little bit late last night. Teddy was up a few times. The night before, Teddy slept from like 8.30 to 6.30 and I think maybe I was just like riding that high and then last night when it wasn't so great, um, I was a little bummed, but something that we had realized was two days ago, Teddy had the most like table food he's ever had in a day. And then it was like, wow, that was the first time he slept through the night since he was like, oh gosh, he's awake, hold on. Here he is, here he is, oh goodness, here he is. Um, so there was that like cause and effect of him like eating and sleeping, maybe, Maybe it isn't a guarantee every time, but I know we're just gonna be more intentional with him, like what he eats throughout the day, and maybe that will help. But anywho, I think you can probably tell that my brain is a little scramble right now. So hopefully this stretch will rain me on in. Rain me on in. You say push? I'm sorry, but there's a Push. Push. <laughs> That's Jamesy's word of the day. Push. So we're having a little movie couch night. Um, I don't think we've mentioned this, but James hasn't napped in like a week. Um, and he's actually in fabulous spirits. He doesn't get cranky. He's not, like it's not a bad thing. I just know he still needs it. I could, he, when we do go on like walks or go in the car, he falls asleep. So we're kind of dealing with that. So we're just having a nice restful afternoon on the couch. We watched Onward. Now we have Finding Dorian. And our apartment is so cold. We just had maintenance come by because our heaters just aren't on. Um, and so they're working on it and we got the space heater. I just got that going. But yeah, it is quite chilly in here. Like, I don't even like want to walk down the hallway towards the kitchen in our room. It only gets colder and colder towards that direction. So it's, it's, it's pretty cold. I don't know what the temperature actually is in here. I'll have to check the baby monitor. Um, but we're like teetering on that area where like by law it has to be. It has to be warmer than it is in here, so. <sighs> Fingers crossed. I get, they'll, they'll get going soon. I love randomly seeing a couch in snow and ice in Chicago. Walking on over to Jewel to grab some quick and easy things for dinner since we haven't gone grocery shopping and our day kind of divulged into chaos. If you didn't know of like the beauty randomness of the um, awesome ridiculousness of Chicago architecture, just look at like a random building you walk past. Absolutely gorgeous. It's also absolutely freezing. We uh, 
I don't know, I didn't realize it was going to be so cold. We woke up and the wind chill was negative four. And uh, our boiler heaters, as we've complained about them before, weren't working. So we had to call our maintenance guy. And that was a little, usually our, we love our maintenance guys typically, but I don't know. They kind of walked in and I was in a meeting and Sarah let them in and they kind of told Sarah like, hey, this heater is just closed. It's working fine when uh, I'll put every ounce of my fiber on the line to say that they were definitely open. There's like half of the steam heaters in our apartment we've never closed. We've always kept on and that was one of them. Um, so they're, then they proceeded to go into the basement with the boilers and you can hear them clanking on it, making phone calls for the next like 45 minutes. So obviously the boiler's got an issue. So between that and then just other things going on with work and life busyness that our day kind of devolved. So I was like, you know what, Sarah? We're gonna turn this day around. I'm gonna go get something easy, get some soup, maybe a frozen pizza, something from Jewel. And we're gonna have a cozy, cuddly, staying warm evening. Sarah is going to be so, so happy. But do I take one or do I take three? I have to walk home. When you're a kid, you eat strawberries ah, and apple fritters. Sorry. Uh, James has learned to rub his hands on his shirts and it's like my favorite thing in the whole world said nobody ever. I was gonna say, what? <laughs> also, Sarah couldn't decide what pizza we were gonna make, so. We're making both. Mm, what gives? Yeah, it what gives? gives? It's a pizza. That's what gives. Mmm. Do the fritter or dance, mom, bon. Do the fritter or dance, uh-huh. Do the fritter or dance, do the fritter or dance, do the fritter or dance. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Got that cracker. Okay, these are the best crackers. We literally just had a box two days ago. And then I also, it's so chilly. I needed soup. I did top it with some salt and pepper. Sarah loves a good theme. So she's like, oh, my apartment's frigid, almost in the legal standards. Look okay, at soup. Yeah, it's a gnocchi. Chicken. We are trying out these energy drinks and the design like looks very word art to me, but I'm kind of digging it. This is boysenberry and blueberry. It's so good. Reminds me of Ikea. Oh. You wanna watch Beetlejuice? Yeah. Peter, tell him the good news. The heat's back on. Wow. I'm very tired. I don't know, it was like a day. Yeah. Oh. We got Frozen 2 in the bedroom. And we babies got just both the babies, the babies in the bed. And a smile means friendship to everyone. I wanted to give a reminder to all the caregivers of small children in the world to give yourself um, grace sometimes. Sometimes you just need a lazy evening. Sometimes you realize when your baby is upset for 25 minutes that they have a sore bum and you didn't realize it and you need to soak it but then you have a really fun bath time of just soaking a sore bum and now <laughs> happy as can be huh happy as can be so sometimes like you get down on yourself like that when you're like oh my gosh if i just realized my baby's butt was sore 20 minutes ago it wouldn't have been 20 25 minutes of like what's going on why is this baby upset but listen it's tough sometimes right it's tough sometimes right and days get long, you gotta be, gotta be nice to yourself. It's a teddy bear. Oh gosh, oh gosh. What are you gonna get? You gonna get that light? That light's gonna get you. You see your reflection? Whoa. This is a baby that's sleeping. I'm so tired. James fell asleep in approximately 3.4 seconds because he didn't do his nap. Yeah. I, I mentioned earlier how he hasn't been napping. He's actually having a hearing test tomorrow. And so I'm going to talk to them about, our pediatrician, about dropping a nap. And what she actually thinks about it, like, physically. Because I don't, like, I don't think he's ready, but it's just been so consistent. Yeah. And, like, he does... He would get, like, not your socially normal night's sleep before, but now when he skips his nap, he kind of does. Yeah, he gets a really good night's sleep. Like, he falls asleep so much earlier, and then it feels like... And he sleeps longer. Right. This has been the case since he's been a baby, is that he's always slept great at night and not great during the day. Like, he'll have periods of time where he'll nap for two hours. Like, great naps, but it's always just, like, been the struggle for it to happen. 
However, what also has been the same case as when he was a baby is that his nap really doesn't affect his demeanor or his mood. It's not like day ruining when he skips a nap. He doesn't become like not himself. And so like we've always kind of, like that's always kind of been like the silver lining is like he's still happy. He's okay. It's not like you know like I don't know. I just like his he's he's always remained his cheerful Jamesy self when he, even when he skips a nap. So we'll ask the doctor. We'll see what the doctor has to say. Yeah. Um <laughs> 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 Mm. Is this we used to drink Slurpees that were pitch black? Yeah, I don't know if I ever like. I don't think we were in. I don't think there was a Mountain Dew pitch black prior to the Slurpee. I thought the Slurpee was the original incantation. No, this was maybe, but we would always get this at Halloween, like my mom's like oh. seasonal theme. Oh, Sue and her seasonal things. Yes. I guess she didn't get it until we were like older. It wasn't like my childhood. I was like yeah. slamming Mountain Dew. <laughs> Oh my god. Nothing like a pitch black at 9.56 p.m., right? It literally tastes like Halloween at my mom's house. So, um... You like this postpartum? Did hair? we say Fluffy earlier? duck? Did we say earlier in the grand stop on last night and dropped off our Christmas gifts? No. Well, this was one of my Christmas gifts from the big family party. Uh, I'll go get you mine. What did you get? I don't even think I saw it. I got you. Oh, that's right. Um, so we're going to watch the new Casey Neistat YouTube video. And then we're going to watch Ted Lasso and not do a routine. Actually, we did clean up the kids' toys in the living room. And the kitchen has been really good kept up and we kind of cheated with dinner. So like the place isn't a mess. I was telling we're saying we're not doing the routine tonight because we just yeah. needed the day. Yeah, but like, right, what we did kind of, these are a little tangled. Um, I love when that happens. I love detangling Sarah's like thin jewelry. <laughs> okay, well, this is so unprofessional. <laughs> okay, I'll show you. Okay, so here's the one. It's a little bracelet. It's a bobble bar. I swear I will take my cruise nail polish off someday. Okay, and then I got two necklaces. Evers <laughs> <laughs> on the floor of the heavens. This is a necklace. It's like a little rhinestone-y. Mini Mouse ears situation. And then here's the other necklace. So it's just like a rhinestone Mickey Mouse. It actually looks like, like a rhinestone. <laughs> it looks like the bracelet I got on the cruise, but gold. Booyah. And this is a necklace, so. Booyah. Yes. The static is real. Is it static you where you live? James is like, when it happens to him. <laughs> Me and James both need haircuts, so it's like you can really feel it. Yeah. Case nice done. Mm -hmm. Ted Lasso. Mm -hmm. Bed. Mm -hmm. And tomorrow's already Wednesday. It's basically, well, it's basically over. <laughs> I used to have that mentality when I work. I feel like I'll have that it's mentality come tough. like 2 p.m. tomorrow. Yeah. That's good. Do you have one? It is. <laughs> I have crow's eyes. Crow's feet. Like my dad. <laughs> so do I. <laughs> Good morning, we are so happy that you're here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, we hope you'll come back tomorrow. I had a little contact snafu this morning. I ripped my contact, and when I went to go put a new one in, I have four left, like four left eyes, and none for the right eye that I need. So I made an appointment for tomorrow to go get an eye exam order more contacts. Unfortunately, I have a really strong prescription and they don't have any like in stock for me to just go like pick up an emergency pair. So I'm gonna be wearing glasses the next few days. The trouble is they broke and so they're taped. Um, and also this child, it's his ultimate goal to take them off my face. So that's been all morning. You so proud of yourself? I need them to see you. James. 
You think hey hey is hilarious, huh? Why are you coming for my glasses? I need them to see you. I need them to see you. Both of these children can't take me wearing glasses. No. I I need them on. Lucy. This is gonna be a struggle. One eternity later. So it's been, I don't know, it's been a few hours and we are home from Jamesy's doctor appointment and my glasses are still crooked and they're very disorienting. I don't know, I'm like not, not <laughs> taking this well. Um, but I go to the doctor tomorrow, whatever. That's not why I came on here to talk. So basically I'll give you the short version of Jamesy's hearing test experience. Um, they test the left ear, it passes. They test the right ear and two of the four like zones like fail or whatever. And so they're like, okay, well like, this is like cause for like referring you to an ENT standard, whatever. It's probably, or maybe let's say like, maybe it could be caused by wax buildup. So, the doctor comes in and she's like, takes a little and she, of like, starts to like look and she got a little bit out and she was like, well I'm gonna like put in like drops and like, kind of like work it up or whatever and James had to lay there for 15 minutes and honestly like, that was worse than the digging. Um, Peter actually went in with him because I knew, I was like, mm-hmm. Oh wow. Um, I knew, I wanted, James to have like a hundred percent comfort, you know, of whoever went with him. Um, and just with me not being able to see, like I'm really reliant on my contacts because of how poor my vision is. It was just better for daddy to do it, right? So Peter, this is me telling you what Peter told me. And so he's holding him, he gets, you know, the 15 minutes goes by and then the doctor comes back and she digs out a massive piece of wax out of Jamesy's ear. Peter described it as like the size of like my prenatal vitamin. Not as wide, but like as wide as a straw. And so that was definitely blocking his ear. Um, and so hopefully he'll have some relief. Potentially it'll affect his speech. Um, thank you. Thank you for the kisses, you're so nice. Oh, don't you get my glasses. I'm gonna put this a little bit earlier, even though I recorded it later. They did then, they redid the test and he passed that year. It was even better than the left. And when he came out to the car, I was like, hi, Jamesy, and he's like, hi. Like, his voice kind of even already sounded crisper. He was like talking along with Miss Rachel, but then he like totally just like zonked out. He, um, he fell asleep, he did not nap today. And so I don't know if he'll be asleep for the rest of the night, but yeah, we'll see how things go. Who knows how long it's been there, who knows any of that. So hopefully it doesn't happen again. Like it is like Peter's side has had similar issues, so it might just be something that he deals with, but we are happy that it's out. Um, Peter actually just went to Walgreens to pick up a prescription. They also talked about a few other things. He's got, like, we all kind of have wonky skin, so he's picking up something to help with that. And we talked about the naps, and the doctor said that we um, can focus on having a really nice rest, and even if he doesn't fully fall asleep, that, like, quiet time, like, we prioritize quiet time, that that is still good for his age, especially since, like, he's home. He has, like, our undivided attention. Um, and like if he went to daycare or school at this age, like he would have quiet time. So that's what we're gonna focus on and I'm gonna shift my mindset and like just, you know, give our, like Peter said earlier, it's gonna be early in this vlog, but just like giving ourselves grace is like, now this time isn't an attempt, like a nap time fail. It is a quiet time success, so. We're gonna watch some Ted Lasso. We're on the Christmas episode of season two, so excited for that and get this little monster to sleep soon. There is like a beauty to a frigidly cold, icy, snowy, salty Chicago. 
night. I'm walking over to Walgreens to get our prescription for Jamesy. He needs some hydrocortisone cream, extra strong. I kind of want to go in that Circle K. It's really new. But not today. Maybe a different day. Cannot wait to get on a run in the lake without slipping or ice or anything like that. But I do like the winter. Hate the frigid cold. And I love running on the lakes. Keep my fingers crossed that it's sooner rather than later. There's just something, there's many things, not just something, about the whole concept Sarah and I had about like, we want to live in both Orlando and Chicago. Um, and this is one of them, just being able to walk to the Jewel, be able to walk to Walgreens, walk to wherever at any hour, be able to access almost anything, even when it's 20 degrees out. So uh, I just love that. I love that accessibility within a city, you know? Um, and so we're gonna be greedy, but it's not really, I wouldn't consider greedy because we're, we're gonna work, work really hard to make it attainable to live in both places. So, but yes, love, 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 love that. You can just, hey, it's one in the morning. Sure, I can get almost anything. Hey, we need this medicine. I know I can get this 15 minutes after I leave the doctor's office. Um, it's not lost on me the privilege that that is, the accessibility of that in a big city, so. I've got James's medicine, I've got some quick little things we needed, diapers, one of those things, and now I'm going to go home. And I think watch more Ted Lasso. <laughs> He's a big kid. He's a big kid. Peter is my. home. We watched the Christmas episode of Ted Lasso. Ted Lasso, Ted Lasso, Christmas, Christmas. I watched some Taylor Travels TV before that. <laughs> you got to go to Nan Night. You got to go to Nan Night. Mama says you're in trouble. Mama says you're in trouble. Mama says you're in trouble. You're grounded. The routine has grounded. just been. <sighs> Actually, what's been nice is like because we did the routine, we're not in terrible shape. And we're gonna do the routine tonight. After this baby goes to sleep. <laughs> Peter's been rocking it and doing the dishes. He swept. He steam mopped. You've been rocking it. Folding the laundry. Is anybody else stressed about the Disneyland half marathon registration coming up? Not until right the second. I'm really stressed about it. I mean, we haven't really even talked about it that we plan on doing it. So we're going to do the dopey. Here's our announcement. We're going to rest on Monday. Uh, the idea is to fly out to California on Tuesday. Be there Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday's Expo. Five Fridays, 5K. Saturday's 10K. Sunday's Half Marathon. And then probably come home that Monday. So that means like we're not going to go on that cruise right next next year this is not going to become a regular thing to do the Dis disneyland half if you were not aware disneyland used to have run disney events as well and they stopped doing them for a period of time and they're starting them back up so now that you know run disney is kind of our thing <laughs> we're gonna really try our darndest to get out there for this first um race weekend so Disneyland 2024, oh my gosh, almost like 10 years after our, our honeymoon. We've been talking about how like quickly it's going to be 2025 and we're going to be married for 10 years. It's nuts. Um, but we're going to get to bed. Um, obviously this has kind of like kicked us back on to like feeling good about the apartment and our to-do list and stuff we've just had a few chaotic days and actually tomorrow's chaos too i have two appointments and my eyes and dermatologist so you got a busy week yeah i appreciate you doing all this just I appreciate you mm -hmm. no, let's but we're, we, we've been <laughs> we've been really trying to get up early and we've not been succeeding <laughs> so <laughs> maybe maybe tomorrow will be the day what time is it right now just after midnight. <laughs> it's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>